morning children i am sure you are all safe welcome to trinity academy i am a computer teacher let's start the first lesson basics of computer that means introduction to computer let first understand what computers are computer literally means to calculate what is meant by calculate addition subtraction multiplication and division the formal definitions of computer computer is an electronic device that receives input stores or processes the input as per user instructions and provides output in desired format the basic functions are input process and output this is the basic of computer and this is the model of computer how the computers are working input processing output cpu divided into three parts that means alu cu and mu what is the full form of alu arithmetic and logic unit the second one control unit third one memory unit arithmetic and logic unit already i told you no arithmetic and logic unit it's done by the processing unit arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication and division all these process is done by the cpu and control unit the whole computer parts are controlled by the control unit memory unit what or the process are done by the computer that store initially in the memory unit so the finally we can see the output in the output devices now i want to tell you what are the input devices are keyboard mouse these are the input devices see children so many computer parts we have so in these parts keyboard and mouse are the basic input devices this is the cpu cpu already i told you cpu divided into three arithmetic and logic unit control unit and memory unit output devices or monitor printer and plotter etc so so many parts we have in output devices with this keyboard or mouse we can send the data for an example 2 plus 2 so this data will give to the computer through keyboard or mouse this data is processing by the cpu 2 plus 2 is equal to the process is going with the help of cpu then finally the answer will be displayed on the uh, monitor example 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 yes now the answer will be dis displayed by the help of monitor now we can see the basic definitions of input process and output input it accepts data given by the user process it works on data according to the instructions output it gives the desired result one more example i want to tell you for input processing and output so everybody loves omelette right everybody loves omelette yes i also so how can we prepare omelette for prepare omelette what things we need tell me the students yes egg chopped onion pepper yes to taste salt for taste salt okay what things we need to prepare omelette these all things are called input okay these all things are called input okay next step so uh, if the egg we can make an omelette no we have to broke and we can take a bowl we can broke the egg and we can take the mix of the chopped onion and to taste pepper and salt we have to mix together and this process is called processing finally the omelette is ready on a plate so this is called output now the omelette is ready 
computers are different in shapes and size different kinds of computers are used to do different piece work let us learn more about some of them this is a desktop computer desktop computers are big in size they are kept on the desk it is a fixed at one place and cannot be taken here and there it is also called a personal computer laptop computer second one is laptop computer this is a laptop computer it is a small in size it can be kept on our lap a laptop computer can be carried around easily next palm top computer this is a palm top computer you can work on the computer by keeping it on your palm so in our body this part is called palm we can hold the computer like this laptop computer is like a book palm top computer we can hold it on our palm it can it can be kept in our pocket also it contains battery inside it once battery is charged you can take it anywhere easily to work with it next super computer it is a huge computer computers are used in big offices and government departments super computer work faster than any other types of computer next is a smartphone smartphone is also a type of computer so we can control the all around the world inside the devices that is called smartphone now we can see how is a computer differ from a human being yes computer is a machine we are a human being we have to know how is a computer differ from a human being computer have been invented by human being there are many difference between computer and human being some of them have been given in your textbook now i want to tell you what is the difference between man and computer human needs more time to do the same work a computer is very fast and can do many jobs at the same time again come back to the man i mean human being humans make forget the information stored in their mind it will be happen sometimes but computer a computer stores a large amount of information and never forget it human needs rest after working for some time a computer does get tired and can work for long hours because computer is a machine not human like that human does not need any other work a computer works on human orders because computer is a machine humans have feelings example you have if you pinch your friend softly on his hand he feels it ah a computer does not have any feeling example if you pinch a monitor it does not feel pain does not react i hope you all understand please go through this video next time i will come with a new chapter thank you children